We'll guide you through how to use shaders with distant horizons. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. These go really well together and can really enhance the look of Minecraft. So let's get started. I'll be fully installing distant horizons and shaders, so let's do this. Here we are on my desktop. First of all, go and open up a web browser like so. Then what you want to do is go and search for distant horizons Minecraft like so. And we want to go to the CurseForge site just here, scroll down and click on files. And we can then go and choose a version. Personally, I like to get the most up-to-date one and we'll be using the fabric mod loader. So find that and go over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file. Now go and wait for it to download. It will automatically start within five seconds. So go and wait. Now, what you then want to do is go and click on CurseForge in the top right, click on Minecraft. And what we now want to do is go and get something called Fabric API. We need this for Fabric, so go and search for it and go and click on it. Then go and click on Files. And we need to go and get the same version for all of these. So because I got 1.21.1 for Distant Horizons, I'll need to get the same for everything else. So here it is. I'll go over to the right and click on the three dots and click on Download File. We'll wait for this to go and download. After this goes and downloads, we need to go back and we need to go and this time go and search for sodium. Here it is, we can go and click on it. Then we can click on files. Once again, we need to go and get it for 1.21.1 for fabric as well, which in this case is top one is. So we can click on the three dots to the right and go and click on download. Next, we can go back and we need to go and get iris shaders. So go and search for that like so. Here they are, we can go and click on them click on files and we need to go and get the same version for 1.21.1 for fabric, which is this one here. So we can go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. That's now gone and downloaded. And next we need to go and get Indium. So go and type that in like so. And here it is, go and click on it, then go and click on files. And we now need to go and get it for 1.21.1, which is this top one here for me click on the three dots and click on download file. A big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They've got so many awesome features. For example, 24 seven support and servers. So your server will always be online and you can get the help anytime you need it. Amongst many other things like instant setup upon purchase, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, automated backups and much more. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment, which you can click on. Come here and you can also go and get 25% off your first invoice. Now what you want to do is simply search for compatible shaders with distant horizons. And there's a really useful article on this. And what we can then do is go and find a compatible shader pack. So for example here, I'm going to go and get BSL. So I'll go and click on the CurseForge icon to the right like so. I'll then click on files to the right of description and scroll down and I'll go and get the BSL shaders up here. Last but not least, we need fabric itself. So go and search for Fabric Minecraft like so, come to the official site, click on download and we can then click on download for Windows. Come over to the left and select downloads and let's get started. First of all, we need to run the Fabric installer, so double click it. Make sure you select the version which you got everything else for, for me it was 1.20.1. .1. Click install and we've now done that. Now what we need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and click on installations and scroll down and find Fabric Loader. Hover over it and click on the file or folder icon to the right. And then what you want to do is go and scroll down here and you want to go and find the mods folder. Double click on it. And then what you need to do is come back to your downloads here and you can start adding them in. So what you need to do is go and add in Distant Horizons, Fabric API, Sodium, Iris and Indium like so. And then what you can do is you can come back here. Now just go and find Fabric Loader and hover over it. Click on the three dots to the right and go and click on edit like so. Then click on more options, come down to JVM arguments. And after XMX, it says 2G. What you can do is go and set this to 4G. This means it will use four gigabytes of RAM. Now I wouldn't recommend using any more than 50% of your total RAM. So if you've got eight, using four should be fine. I've actually got 32, so I'm gonna set mine to eight, but four should be okay. And what you can do is hover over it and click on play. It's now loaded. What you need to do is go and click on options, go and click on video settings, and you can go to the top right and click on shader packs. Go to the top right and click on shader packs and click on open shader pack folder. And then what you want to do is go and add in the shader pack you just downloaded like so, and it should then go and appear. Select it and click apply, press done, and we can get into a world. 
Here we are, this looks great. So you can pause the game and click on options, go to the top left and go and click on the distant horizons icon and you can then start changing the settings here to your liking. 